On today's RV short, we're going to go into some of the ways you can add power to your setup with your GeoPro RE Pro, or you can use this on any other camper that has the solar on the side. So in our case, we have the FD model with the 100 watt solar panel inside. It does a pretty good job. I've got two flooded batteries and uh, we just wanted to have an additional way of getting power and what I did is and watching the uh, YouTubers wines pines and canines I watched their video and they had bought this Renogy panel here and I decided I wanted to go ahead and buy this panel and the reason I wanted to get it is I'm going to do a dual purpose I'm going to hook it to my solar on the side and also I have a 500 watt jockery and I wanted to have a way of charging that when I'm out now when I got this it's a little heavier than I thought it was going to be we're going to open this up and I'll show you what's in it you do have to buy a one adapter that go that'll hook it up to the that reverses the polarity on the uh, solar on the side we're going to hook that up and then you had to buy an extra one here I don't have it here but I've got to bring it out and it has a, I think it's a 9 millimeter pin that will plug into your jockery. So we're going to show you how to do that. The battery's pretty well charged on the Geo Pro now, but we'll still plug it up and see how it works out. And uh, we're going to charge up a little bit on our, on our 500 watt jockery. So the nice thing about this is, as you can see right now, it's the sun's pretty straight up. It's almost noon. But uh, sometimes, like over here, we can get a better angle and get an angle with our solar suitcase. So that's what we're going to try to get a little bit better and how much juice we get out of that. Now what we're going to do is this comes in a nice little suitcase. It comes in a cardboard box, of course, when you get it from Amazon. But then it has a nice case that zips off of it like this here. And it comes open like that. And... Open it up here, latches. Now it has a, inside it has a pouch here for the alligator clips if you want to hook it straight to a battery or even charge a car battery. You have this here, but we're not going to use that. Like I said before, I had to purchase this with a nine, I think it's a centimeter or millimeter pin on there. I'll leave the link in the uh, description and uh, that will hook into our, we'll bypass the solar controller on this and we'll, we'll go straight from the panel into the jogger because it has its own built-in controller. We also had to buy this to go on to the camper and I'll leave that in the description as well. So inside you got these folding legs. Adjust them up here. And we're going to go ahead and disconnect this. Instruction actually tells you to disconnect it from the controller and hook it to the camper first. So we're going to hook ours to the camper first and see what we get. Now, in order to do this hookup, we had to get this adapter. This changes to polarity. This is for the solar on the side and the geo pro some of them will be the right polarity but most of the time they set them up for a particular type of panel and in this case we're going to have to reverse it so we're going to plug that in here and i can already tell i'm going to have to buy an extension cord i think to run over to this because right now i'm already sitting where i can't hardly get the sun and get the length of my cable so that's something i'll have to buy in the future i guess so you can see i've got that hooked in with that reverse polarity got it hooked into the panel this is as far as I can get it away from the camper and I'm in the shade so definitely gonna have to buy an extension cord for this setup right here so we'll, we'll end up getting that right now we're reading 13.9 on my on the voltage on my camper so we're really not gonna get much charge we're just kind of testing this out for right now and the manufacturer says hook it up like this here and then then you want to hook up your final down here now 
if you hit this button here you can set it it came comes and it was actually an AGM I set it up for wet so you want to set your batteries up for what you have and like I say I have this one in the shade right now so I'm getting I'm getting some solar but there's not a whole lot going on let me see what we got here yeah we're drawing a 0.2 amps so we'll hook that up to my jockery here in a little bit and we'll give that a shot and see how much in full sun we'll get from that so what I have here is I've got the hookup for the jockery and I've got it in full sun now now what you do here is you want to I've disconnected this from the camper so now I've disconnected the solar controller we're not going to use that the jackery is just going to run off the two panels which they're merged together into this box here we're going to use this cable here to hook it up and we'll plug it in and see what we get in full sun and we're going to look and we have 82 percent on the setup here now this thing here came with two pins I don't need this pin here so I took that off and it comes with this one here and I believe it's an eight millimeter pin so we're gonna plug that in now and hopefully there we go we got an input we got 71 watts being produced right now so it looks like it's gonna work like we want and we're gonna see how long that takes pretty much in full sun now so it just went over to 83 percent and i'm going to hit my timer here and start and see how long it takes to take it up five five percent now we're while we're waiting for that to go up and charge that jackery i'm going to go over the advantages of having a little power unit like the jackery uh the nice thing about this setup is it's a actually it's a lithium battery in that so we can utilize that in our camper we don't have to worry about getting below that 50 or 40 percent threshold with our our uh, flooded batteries and the nice thing is we can run that one down to i don't know 15 20 percent so you can get the full benefit out of those the charge in that unit the other thing is um it's portable and you can carry it around i, I bought this one particularly to go tent camping out in colorado and i need to power up a cpap machine so and then charge my devices while I was camping so it worked out really well for that but at the time I had to charge it every couple of days we had to stop at a hotel and charge it up or I could plug it into the car and charge it up but I didn't have a way over the solar panel to charge it so this is something that I'm looking to be able to go out and expand my power usage out when I'm out camping in a tent I decided that I'm not going to go ahead it took 11 minutes to get two percentage points on there so it's just a rough idea how long it takes to charge this up so in conclusion the uh, add-on solar and add-on battery these are all expensive ways to go the jockery can be I always say it's a dollar a watt uh, for the 500 one like I, I got it's a $500 bill and those prices somewhat come down but they're still pretty high the Renogy they used to be up towards the 300 they're coming down they're two I think I got paid about, paid about 250 for mine so you just got to decide if it's worth it and frankly I probably wouldn't have purchased the solar panel if I didn't have a government stimulus check in my bank right now so just use that as an excuse to purchase it but uh here on the east coast we don't find that opportunity to use solar that much and go boondocking obviously if you're out west you're in utah you're in arizona this is definitely something you're going to want to deal with but here we're going to we're going to mess with it a little bit we do some harvest host and things like that but uh let me know your experiences and uh and what you do with your add-on solar and add-on electrical needs and uh, we'll see you again on another one of these RV shorts.